In this video, I'm going to show you the alternate solution on how to compute for the variance and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So when we say variance of discrete probability distribution, it is denoted by the formula summation of x square. x will be the value of the random variable multiplied by p of x, that is the probability of random variable x, minus the mean square. And the standard deviation of a probability distribution is given by the formula square root of the summation of x square multiplied by p of x minus mean square. So this will be the formula that we are going to use to find the variance and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So let's start and let's have an example. On our first example, we have the number of cars sold. In the given table, we have the value of x and p of x. x will represent as the value of the random variable or the number of cars sold, and p of x will be the probability of random variable x. So what is the first step to find the variance and standard deviation? So let us find first the value of the mean. So to find the mean, let us use the formula summation of x times p of x. So let us multiply the value of x and p of x. 0 multiplied by 1, that is 0, divided by 10 is also 0. And then 1 times 2, that is 2, divided by 10, that is 0 0.20. And then 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6, and 6 divided by 10 is 0 0.60. And then 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 10 is also 0 0.60. And then we have 4 times 2, that is 8. And 8 divided by 10, that is 0 0.80. So to find the mean, let us add 0 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.60 plus 0 0.60 plus 0 0.80. It will give us 2.2. So this will be our mean. And then, to find the last column, we are going to multiply the value of x to itself, and then multiply by p of x. And that is 0 times to itself, that is 0, times 1, that is 0, divided by 10, is 0. And then, 1 multiplied by itself, that is 1, times 2, that is 2, divided by 10, that is 0 0.20. And then we have 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 divided by 10, that is 1.20. And then we have 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. And 9 times 2 is 18. 18 divided by 10 is 1.80. And then we have 4 multiplied by itself is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. 32 divided by 10, that is 3.20. So to find the variance, let us use the formula summation of x square times p of x minus mean square. So to find the sum of summation of x square times p of x, let us add 0 plus 0 0.20 plus 1.20 plus 1.80, plus 3.20, it will give us 6.4 minus the mean, that is 2.2 square. So let us write 6.4 and then 2.2 multiplied by itself, that is 4.84. And then 6.4 minus 4.84 that is 1.56. So this will be our variance. And to find the standard deviation, let us use the formula square root of the summation of x square times p of x minus mean square. So the value of 
summation of x square times p of x minus mean square, that is 1.56. And the square root of 1.56, that is 1.25. So this will be the value of our standard deviation. On our last example, we are going to find the variance and standard deviation of the probability distribution of the random variable x. In the given table, we have the value of x and p of x. x will be the value of the random variable, which is 2, 3, 6, 8, and 10. And p of x, that is the probability of random variable x, which is 0 0.10, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, and 0 0.05. So what is the first step to find the variance and standard deviation? So the first step is we are going to find the mean. So to find the mean, let us use the formula summation of x times p of x. So we are going to multiply the value of x and p of x. That is 2 times 0 0.10, that is 0 0.20. And then, 3 multiplied by 0 0.25, that is 0 0.75. And then we have 6 times 0 0.25, that is 1.50. And then, 8 multiplied by 0 0.35, it will give us 2.50. And then we have 10 multiplied by 0 0.05, that is 0 0.50. So to find the mean, let us add 0 0.20, 0 0.75, 1.50, 2.80, 0.50, and that is 5.75. So this will be our mean. And to find the last column, we are going to multiply x to itself and then multiply by p of x. And that is 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. And 4 multiplied by 0 0.10, that is 0 0.40. And then 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. And 9 multiplied by 0 0.25, that is 2.25. And then we have 6 multiplied by itself, that is 36, multiplied by 0 0.25, it will give us 9. And then we have 8 multiplied by itself, that is 64, times 0 0.35, that is 22.40. And then we have 10 times to itself, that is 100, times 0 0.05, that is 5. So to find the variance, we are going to use the formula summation of x squared times p of x minus mean square. So to find the value of the summation of x squared times p of x, we are going to have 0 0.40 plus 2.25 plus 9 plus 22.40 plus 5. It will give us 39.5. 0, 0.5 minus the mean which is 5.75 square so let us write 39.05 and then 5.75 multiplied by itself that is 33.0625 and then 39.05 minus 33.0625 it will give us 5.9875. Or we can write our answer as 5.99. So this will be our variance. And to find the standard deviation, we are going to use the formula square root of the summation of x squared times p of x minus mean square. So the value of this expression is 5.9875.
and the square root of 5.9875, that is 2.4469368861. Or we can write our answer as 2.45. So this will be our standard deviation. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.